guys welcome back to my channel uh, today I have a thrift haul for you guys and it is a massive spring thrift haul so I'm gonna get started I'm gonna move through it quick I am gonna say this is not gonna be a try on because I am very large and pregnant right now and uh, the majority of the clothes that I bought they don't fit me right now. <laughs> I've been buying a lot of clothes for post-pregnancy uh, just because I know that my thrifting is going to slow down and I just purged my closet and got rid of so many clothes that I just didn't touch and I didn't wear anymore. So I've slowly been building that back up and I am going to uh, show you clothes from three places. This is going to be a huge haul, like probably too long. Sorry. I just haven't posted in forever. So you guys deserve a long thrift haul. It's been a long time since I've posted a thrift haul. So the first place I'm going to show you that I got clothes from um, is actually called Park Avenue Thrift. And I'll link their website below. It's a, it's a um, thrift store here in Atlanta, Georgia. And I just absolutely love it. Every Monday they have, at my store anyways, that I go to, they have 50% off um, the entire store. Awesome. But then they take it a step above that and they're even more awesome and they have an outlet store. And you guys know that I love thrift outlet stores. Like it doesn't get any better than an outlet store of a thrift store. So... Um, I have some clothes to show you that I've purchased from the actual thrift store and then I actually went to the outlet store which is a little bit further away from my house but I went a couple weeks ago and I got um, quite a bit of stuff and I went on a Sunday so everything was $1.25 I believe everything that I show you from the outlet so let's get started because it's a lot and I'm going to try to move through it quick we're going to start with shoes. So the first pair of shoes that I got are these really cute um, tan moccasins. And I've been wanting a pair of moccasins for a while. These are from the brand Minnetonka. <laughs> I'm sure I didn't say that right. I looked them up. They're sold at Nordstrom. I paid $2 for these. They are originally around $40. The next item that I got is probably the only maternity item that I purchased, but I think I'm still going to be able to wear it and it's still going to be beautiful even without my belly. And this is the tunic is what they call it. And it's this really pretty floral color. It's from the brand Pink Blush Maternity, uh, which is sold online. And this shirt is actually still on their website. The shirt it retails for $38. I actually got this shirt for $2.50. So I think it will either still be a tunic or I may be able to wear it as a dress. We're going to see. Um, it's really hard for me to judge anything because my stomach is so big right now. I picked up one pair of jeans and I think this is the only pair of jeans I've picked up in this entire haul. These are from Free People. They're very um, basic jeans, no distressing or anything to them. But they are high-waisted, which is what I really liked about them. They were $2.00. And they are my size, or the size that I was before I got pregnant. <laughs> so hopefully they'll be my size again. I got this maxi dress that I know you guys have seen. It is a big trend for spring 2017. And it's the off-the-shoulder maxi dress that has these, like, fluffy um, sleeves. <laughs> I don't know how to say that properly, but this was $2 and 50 cents as well. And it's just a really long black ma maxi dress. So, um, really pretty detailing all the way down. Perfect for the beach or vacation. So I'm really excited to wear that out this, this spring and summer. Oh, it doesn't have a brand in it. Someone ripped the tag out, so I'm not sure where it's from. So then I picked up this, and you're going to see a trend with a lot of these clothes from the thrift store, but I picked up this really cute shirt. It has this, like, um, cutout in the front, but then a larger cutout in the back, which I thought was really pretty detailing. But... The uh, trend that you're going to see in a lot of the clothes that I purchased are bell sleeves. I'm all about it for spring. I love it. This is a very thin shirt, so I thought this would look great with some shorts or even pants because spring is not that hot. <laughs> and this shirt was $2.50 for me, and it's from the brand Love Culture, which I know is picked up and sold by a lot of different companies. Then I found 
this really cute dress and it's just such a basic dress that I can't wait to just throw on in the spring and just go. So it's this um, really thin striped blue dress and it has this really cool like um, collared cut down. <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying that right in the front. And this dress was $5.45 so I got it for $2.75. I think I'm doing that math right. But yeah, I love it. It's I'm really short, so I knew it would work for me because I know it looks pretty short when I'm holding it up like this. But uh, I think it'll hit me, you know, right where it's appropriate and it's not too short. This next item that I got is a little uh, thick, I would say, for a spring thrift haul. But uh, I just couldn't pass it up. It is just such a gorgeous shirt. So it's this shirt and it has the bell sleeves, of course, with this really pretty detailing around the sleeve. And um, it's off the shoulder. Well, you could probably wear it both ways, but definitely you can wear it off the shoulder. And this is from the brand Vava by Joy Han. And uh, I looked this up. This is actually sold by Revolve Clothing. And um, this shirt or her shirts retail on Revolve Clothing for over a hundred dollars and I got this shirt for two dollars and fifty cents. So then I found this uh, very simple black top and it also has the little keyhole in the front cut out as well as the back and it's brand new and it's from the brand Outrageous. I couldn't find that brand anywhere. I'm not sure where it's sold but this shirt was four dollars so I got it for two dollars. I have this shirt here. It's like that uh, cable material is that what it is that cable like knit material and this shirt is from the brand cabbie i couldn't find it anywhere online but i love it it's so um simple but casual which is my style it has a hood which i loved and then i loved the the lace-up detail at the front too so just a really good piece to have in your closet so i got rid of a lot of my cardigans because they were just either old and they didn't look good anymore or I was just sick of wearing them because I wear cardigans all the time and I was just sick of wearing the same ones over and over. So I found a new one so I'm slowly building up my uh, my like cardigan um, stack. <laughs> this one is I think perfect for spring. This one's from the brand Painted Threads. It's sold at Nordstrom Rack and it's a very long cardigan and it has um, you know, shorter sleeves, but it just has that oversized look to it when you're wearing it. Um, it's just really slouchy, so I like it. And it's a very neutral color, so it will go with a lot of my closet. Then I picked up this um, cropped Nike shirt, and it just says Property of Nike Athletics on it. This was $2. I, again, I'm really after some casual pieces right now, so I thought that was another good one. The last piece that I picked up from the thrift store before we get into the outlet store is this really long cardigan. Um, this screams spring, I feel like, but it's a floor length cardigan. So it's really, really long and it is obviously really lightweight. It has holes all in it, <laughs> but it's from the brand Coin1804, which is sold at Nordstrom and I paid $2.50 for this. So. I just think this is going to be so pretty to throw over a dress and just go. The The next set of clothes here that I'm going to show you came from Park Avenue Thrift Outlet. So all of these clothes were actually $1.25 each the day that I went. Um, tip for you, if you're in the Atlanta area and you want to go to Park Avenue Thrift Outlet, um, I would suggest going on Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday because I think Mondays everything's a dollar and I think Tuesdays everything is 75 cents and then Wednesdays everything is either 50 cents or 25 cents. I don't know. I'll link their website below so you can look but it's just killer deals and if you're willing to look, if you're a thrifter and you know what it takes to look and to dig, then you're going to love this thrift store. We'll go ahead and get started. I got three pairs of shoes actually at this thrift store. so. Um, I'll show you those first. The first pair that I got are these, my husband thinks these are so ugly, but I love them. Uh, these little silver um, 
flats from J. Crew, and to make it to the outlet, usually the shoes that make it to the outlet, you just don't purchase, you know what I mean? They didn't sell at the thrift store for a reason. That's how it usually is with the shoes anyways. But these are J. Crew, and I love them. Again, $1.25, and um, they're very different. I haven't really figured out, like, what I'm going to wear them with, but they're also very neutral, so I feel like they would go with a lot. The next pair of shoes that I got are these, and I was stoked when I found these at the outlet store, but it's these really cute pairs of uh, nude flats, and I just had to trash my nude flats because they broke, so I was on the, the hunt for a new pair, and these are brand new. They still have the, the what is it, Ross? Yeah, the Ross tag on the inside, never been worn at all and yeah they were $14.99 at Ross I got them for $1.25 so and they were my size the last pair that I got I'm so pumped about but I really need to wash them they're kind of gross right now so if gross shoes from the thrift store are like your uh, pet peeve I would just not watch this portion <laughs> but I found a pair of um, Birkenstock um, shoes in my size and honestly they just need to be cleaned on the bottom but they don't look like they've been worn much at all and I feel like I'm gonna live in these in this spring and summer I love these type of shoes the style is right up my alley um, they just need to have some TLC and be cleaned before I stick my foot in them but I love them and they're Birkenstock so it's an incredible deal to get them for $1.25 I have a runny nose. Okay, so I I got some clothes. I got some casual clothes, which I'll show you first. Ca more casual clothes. I found this sweater that I think I'm going to cut to a crop sweater. And I really just liked the gray. And it's actually a really thin sweater. It's not super thick. And it just says Independence Bowl 1986 Texas Tech and Ole Miss. But I just thought it would look really cute as a cropped, you know, just older sweater. Then I found this little cropped guy, and I love him. Whether I use him just, I'm sure that this, this piece is just going to be like a lounge around the house or sleep-in piece. But it's just this really cute cropped top, and it buttons all the way down. I think it's definitely meant to be pajamas, but I loved it. And you know what? I may find a way to incorporate it into an outfit that actually I go out in. We'll see. And then I got a pair of pajama pants because I need new pajama pants. I'm really like sucking in the cute pajama area. So I got these. These are originally from Gilligan in Omali, which I think is sold at Target. And they're small and they're just, what's happening? They're just striped and cute and big and comfortable. And then I got a lot of white. Good grief. I got this Lush romper, which I don't know about yet. I don't think, this may be going to my little sister, because I don't know that I can pull this off the way that I thought I could when I got it. It's a little bit too short for me, but this is the romper, um, and it cuts pretty low, but it has this really beautiful lace detailing all in the arms, and actually the entire back, which is really pretty. And I just think it's so gorgeous. I thought about when I originally purchased it as like a bathing suit cover-up, but it's almost a little bit too fancy for that. But then it's also a little bit too short for me. So I don't know. It, either way, I had to get it. It's Lush, which is sold at Urban Outfitters. So getting it for $1.25 was a great deal. So I got a cardigan, another one. And again, I told you I'm trying to rebuild my, my cardigan stash. But I love this one. It's from the brand Poof. And um, Poof, I think I looked this up too, and I think it's sold at Nordstrom. So I found a lot of deals on brands that I had never heard of that are actually sold at Nordstrom. So I found this one, and it has these really cool, like, uh, fringes at the bottom. These fringe detailings, detailings, <laughs> details, all at the bottom, which I thought was really cute. Two more white shirts. <laughs> I found this white shirt, which is a small, it's from Old Navy, and it looks big and it's meant to fit bigger. Um, but I just loved all of the the um, square details on the front. It just really made it a very unique shirt, something I don't have in my closet. So I thought I'd get a lot of use out of that in the spring and summer. The last shirt that I got is from the brand Cotton. 
I don't know where it's sold at because I looked it up and I couldn't find it anywhere. But it's this really pretty white silk shirt. A um, little bit cropped, but I'm short, so it actually fits me perfect. And it has these really pretty uh, bell sleeves as well. So $1.25, great deal. And it was at the time that I found this shirt that I found these American Eagle shorts. And I thought, such a cute outfit. So I got these two. These are a small, um, just stretchy American Eagle shorts. These are my favorite type of shorts to wear in the spring and summer. Um, I love something that I can throw on and it just feels flowy and it's not restricting. The last thing that I got at the outlet store is this pair of high-waisted jeans. I hope they fit me <laughs> because I'll be honest, I don't know what size I'm going to be um, after this baby pops out. I know what size I eventually will want to get to again, but we'll see. Um, these, This is from the brand Refuge, and Refuge is sold at Charlotte Russe, and I just really liked them. They're, uh, they're in great condition. They have the fraying at the bottoms. I know it's so long, geez, I'm so sorry, but we're gonna squeeze in a couple more items because I went to Forever 21, um, gosh, I guess it's been three weeks now, and I walked in and they were having an additional 65% off their clearance section. I walked in at 8.15 p.m. and I had 45 minutes to get my act together and grab stuff. Otherwise, I would have spent a lot more money than I did. So I'm going to show you guys what I um, actually bought and the price that I got for it. And I was like, I have to include this in my thrift haul because these prices, some of these prices are better than the prices that I paid for, for the, thrift, the thrift store clothes. So let's go ahead and take a look. I kept the receipt so, we could, so I could show you guys real quick. And um, we'll run through these fairly quickly. The first thing that I got is this shirt. And it says, One for the Road. And it's a small, and it has like the, you know, whole detailing that is really big right now. And it's all throughout the shirt. And I ended up getting this shirt for, they had it marked down for $3.99. Which, which means I got it for $1.40. Um, so the next thing I got is this pajama set. I'm also like trying to ramp up my my cute pajamas, but it came with these shorts that have you know suns all over them and they're pink. And then it also came with this shirt, which I would just probably wear, um, not necessarily to bed, but anywhere. But it says "Good Times Ahead," so I thought it was a super cute pajama outfit. They had it marked for six ninety nine, which means I got it for two dollars and forty five cents. And then I got two dresses, and I got their basic dresses. I got this black, very basic dress. Um, I love this material. I don't know what it is, but if I bring it up, you can probably see what I'm talking about. This dress is just perfect. I do not have a basic black dress in my closet that's short sleeve that fits the way that this, this fits. Um, this was $5.99. And I got it for $2.10. This dress is made out of the same material, but it's long sleeve. And it's this really pretty uh, tan color. And I think it's going to fit perfect once I, I don't have a bump. Right now it's a little short on me. But it also has uh, the bell sleeves, which is what draw drawn me to this dress, of course. But it's very lightweight, so it'll be really good for spring. Not Atlanta summers. But that dress also was $2.10. The last piece, and the piece I'm so excited about, is this oversized denim jacket. And I just love this for many reasons. One, I've been looking for an oversized denim jacket every time I go to the thrift store. It has this really cool, like, fray detailing at the bottom. But the best part, and because this is a huge trend for spring, is this Love Me Forever that's stitched in the back of the jacket. How awesome is this? The best part about it, they had it on clearance for $13.99, and I got it for $4.90. That's how much I would have paid for it if I ran upon it at a thrift store. So it was just a killer deal. I had to include those in the thrift haul. So that's going to wrap up my very huge spring thrift haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You know I am coming back with those thrift hauls um, because I know you guys like them. 
I do have enough stuff that I have accumulated to do a <clears throat> home decor thrift haul and a baby clothes thrift haul. So if either one of those interest you guys, let me know in the comments below which one you'd like to see next and I will definitely get to filming that soon. And if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I'll be back soon. I will talk to you guys later. Bye!